Yo guys, Twixty here, and today we're displaying more games on the PS2P. Um, no very shoes recently, except from this bit came off, which is um, pretty annoying. Um, so what can we do? Uh, yeah, Kingdom Hearts 2 is what we're going to be playing. So, amazing performance, one of my most favourite PS2 games. Probably the most favourite of my PS2 games. This is a final mix widescreen mod. Uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, I've been getting quite far on it. I've been kind of enjoying it. And I always, when I go upstairs to bed, I take the PS2P upstairs with me and lay in my bed and play, you know, PS2 games, San Andreas, all that. I just lay in bed and just do it. Um, I'm having loads of fun. Um, there's some screen, screen burn been happening. Sorry, not screen burn, but you know where it's on the screen. Like this, these bars here and Sora's health there. And I go on to a different game and it'll still be there. So that's really annoying. But, oh, forgot about the shitty sound. I also noticed in uh, playback that the sound's not so bad on uh, when uh, you're watching the video, which is pretty good. Um... So yeah, as you can see, works great. Everything like normal. So I'm just gonna play it a little bit. Uh, yeah. Oh fuck. <laughs> right, I apologise. Completely concentrated on doing the wrong thing. Right, so I need to get the world map. So wait till this loads up, and then we'll get moving to a new world I believe yeah a lot of times are awful sometimes right maybe I think I might need to do a space battle so you guys might have to see me fly a ship um, I know that's some people's not favourite part about Kingdom Hearts but if it isn't just skip forward a little bit oh never mind Saw and his friends came together to set sail for the next world. All oh, right. Oh, it's just because I've got Winnie the Pooh to do. Oh, well, we're definitely not doing um, Little Mermaid's World, what do you call it? Um, yeah, you know, the sea, whatever. Uh, let's see that one. It's weird because when I play this, Kingdom Hearts 2 on, on this, and I'm walking around, not walking around, sorry, sat at a bus stop or anything. It just feels so natural. It feels like it was meant to happen, you know. Sony could have definitely done this themselves. Let's be honest, we all would have bought one. Easily. Oh shit. Should be fine. Um, so, um, basically, yeah, I'm enjoying this. Apparently, the screen is the easiest thing to replace. Uh, I don't see how that, because um, it's under loads of motherboards and stuff, but the soldering points for the speakers are right on the motherboard as soon as you open it up, so I feel like... Uh, the speakers will be the easiest thing to fix, and I hope so, because that's my first job I've got to do. Like I said, the screen burn goes away um, when I took while cleaning the screen off earlier on, and the um, you know I put some pressure on it, and it, you know more than you'd normally put on it, I guess, and it's fine. So you know I reckon that um, it should last. My screen, the the screen, aside from that little burn thing, I can deal with it. I can deal with that rather than replacing it all myself. Um, so, yeah, hopefully I'll just fix my sound, and there's no issues with that. Obviously I'm going to be soldering this speaker first, which is already broken, so it's not like I'm just going to straight try and replace both of them at the same time, and then realise I just broke a speaker, and now I have no sound. So, uh, but def I'll definitely be updating you guys on that once um, I've done the 
modification, I guess. Although, I don't think this thing can get any more modded, to be honest, so... You know, saying it's modded is... I've just modded this, it's going to be a bit obvious that it's modded, isn't it? But... <laughs> yeah, I'm going to mod the speed. I'm going to do a... Um, I'm going to record myself doing it, so you can see how I did it, if it works, maybe it don't work, I don't know, but I'll upload it anyway, maybe you guys can tell me what I did wrong, in case any of you have made um, PlayStation portables, or maybe just have got better experience than me at soldering stuff. Yeah, I'm not uh, very happy with the person who bought this off, to be honest, using all these cheap parts and fucking asking top dollar. But then again, I wouldn't give him it back if he fucking feared me for it, you know what I mean? I love it so much. But it's, it's a big grey area, really. It's a big grey area. Put it on one of my Facebook posts I'm on earlier on, and they said... Um, you know, it's all, it's, I didn't realise it, but it's all retail PS2 stuff anyway. But I, uh, question, they said PS1 games are supported, and I said, well, what about, P what about modded PS2s? Because it is mainly a PS2 page. What about just a modded PS2? And they said, well, it's piracy. And I said, no, just a system. It's still a proper motherboard, just not downloading games. I, 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 I own the games, I rip them to the PC myself, and I put them on a memory card myself. And he still said that's piracy, but it's a grey area apparently. But uh, he linked me to a page where people are not so, um, um, how do you put it, S strong on the official only kind of stuff. He don't, I'm not bothered anyway, because people who are not into modding and just want to, you know, share what games they've got on the PS2 system the proper way, I 100% support that. I completely have my own PS2 Slim and everything. I completely support having a normal PS2. 100%. Alright. Uh, I, I wasn't able to use... Well, I am able to use the graphics mod to make the screen a little bit sharper, but... I prefer the size of the 7 inch screen to be filled up rather than, you know, it be sharper. But you know, that's just my preference. For some reason I have a fucking thing to jump in into next le next part of the map points where I do a backflip into it. I just think it looks cool when I'm in the middle of a backflip. <laughs> Me and uh, Sucky Biscuit did a multiplayer map, yeah, my, uh, Friend. I know him in real life, he's called Lee. Um, me and him did a uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 multiplayer local co-op walkthrough with a local co-op mod, it's absolutely amazing. We we were the first people in the whole world to 100% it, no matter, it's crazy. Um, I had to find the mod and it, like on a website where I'd never been before and it, it was really hard to find the code for it and I had to get a you know, I had to do a lot for it to get it to work, but I did it, and then me and my, me and my uh, friend did it, and we were the first people to do it. It was amazing to play Kingdom Hearts 2 co-op like that. Um, we had issues though, of course, but yeah. Um... I guess I'll carry on. But I think you get the gist of it, but still, I'll carry on. Again, if you want to see any games, let me know. I will 100% play them for you as soon as I can. I also love these foam sticks. The proper foam sticks. It makes it proper feel like a PS2. But it is proper ripped from a PS2, so... You know, it makes sense, don't it? That's what I mean, it's just everything works so good. I even did better sometimes on certain games. Somehow, I don't understand how. But I seem to have been doing better on missions I found hard on 
bullet and on King of Hearts 2. Usually I'd uh, fail once or twice on that. Um, you know, that, um, that one where you're in old time world where everything's black and white. Um, usually on that one where the house is getting destroyed by fire, I usually fail it once or twice because the fire, I can't, can't stop the fire. But this time, 100% straight away. I don't know what it is. I don't know. It's probably nothing, it's probably just my look. <laughs> yeah. Um, I like to keep Goofy in my party. I think it helps level him up. I don't know. I usually just leave it, but for this walkthrough, I'm trying to see if uh, High Peel and Quickly revives a fallen pipe member. We at Livestones. I think that's just, yeah, that's just going to be for Donald, but. Yeah, fuck it. Um, I got a new Keyblade, actually. No, it's not very good. Oh, it's good for that one. Um, new belt, new ring. I need to go to the shop and buy some stuff. Um, but I'm starting to think that's pretty much. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's get on the ship. Oops. Um, I'm gonna think the next video I'm gonna do is probably gonna be a Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Demonstration. Probably anyway. Maybe a Canis Kind of Medit one. I already filmed the Canis Kind of Medit video, but it's uh, not very good. Oh no. Oh, I don't know. I think it is Canis Kind of Medit. Either way, I'm not uploading it because it's uh, not very good. Right, let's go to the bottom of the ship and save game. But yeah. Works perfectly. Uh, so if you want to, you know, I'm good at shop, you don't want to put your system down, you want to just get moving, great way to play Kingdom Hearts on the go. The original hardware, the, well, I won't say original game, because it's uh, Final Mix, which is not the one I played back in there, but still, original hardware, original Kingdom Hearts version, um, yeah, so please leave a like. If you enjoyed or was intrigued by the video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.